Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, I'm super excited about this particular prophetic word. I feel so glad in my spirit right now because uh, this is a prophetic word of upliftment. It is a prophetic word of change. It is a prophetic word of a heavy encounter. It is a prophetic word of breakthrough, success. This is the word you have been waiting for. And you know, the Bible says there is a time for everything. And you've been waiting on God for a very long time. You've been trusting and believing God. This is your right timing. The prophetic word says, get ready for the spotlight. I say it again, get ready for the spotlight. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba. And this is prayers and the prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please do not forget to subscribe and do not also forget to turn on your notification bell. Please, I beg you in the name of God. I want to be your friend. I want to be your family. I want to be a part of you. I want to be your prayer partner. So when you subscribe and you have a prayer point, if you have a prayer request, whatever you want me to pray for, kindly send me a mail and I will definitely pray for you. I'm here to pray for you. I'm here to fellowship with you. And every day by the special grace of God, we always have our live prayer meetings and we are praying and we give God the glory. It's been amazing. People are receiving amazing testimonies. God changing the lives of so many people. God uplifting people's lives and it's never been the same again. So the prophetic word says, get ready for the spotlight. Get ready for the spotlight. Now, this is an important prophetic word in your life because it is a prophetic word that if you believe it and as you connect yourself, God will be placing you in your rightful position. Now, what is the spotlight? The spotlight is a position at the top. The spotlight is a position of success. The spotlight is a position where God changes people's lives. That is where the spotlight is. And God is telling you, he want to put the spotlight on him. God is telling you, he want to show you. God is telling you, he wants to announce you. Somebody, you're watching me right now. You have been minimized. People have looked down on you. People have just made you felt like nothing good can ever come out from you. God says, get ready for the spotlight. You know, one amazing thing about the spotlight is that you are going to be so shocked at some of the people that you see at the spotlight. You will be so shocked, which means when God decides to choose you, nobody needs to recommend you. God chooses you. There are people, you see them at the spotlight. They did not do anything extra, but the Lord chose them. The Lord chose Mary and placed her on the spotlight by making Mary to carry the Messiah. She became the talk of the world, the talk of her generation, the talk of the society. Till date, we still talk about Mary. Why? Because God placed the light on her. She became the mother of Jesus by privilege and opportunity by the special grace of God, which means you don't need to do anything extra. Now, the Bible says because Mary was a virgin, she carried the Messiah. Honey, there were so many virgins at that point in time, but God decided to choose Mary, which means it is not just your qualification. When the grace of God falls on you, everything changes. When the grace of God falls on you, you become elevated. So all you need to do, God says, get ready. What are you getting ready about? You're getting ready in preparation. I don't care where you came from. You're like, woman of God, I didn't come from a good background. How can I just wake up and shine like that? The Bible says, arise and shine. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1. For the light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Now, did you ever hear the Bible says, arise and shine because of your family? Did you ever hear the Bible says, arise and shine because of something you did? No, thy light has come, which means your day of favor has come. Your season of enlightenment has come. Your season of favor for thy light has come. 
the Lord will be blessing you no matter where you're coming from. Your blessings are here. Somebody, if you have been watching me up to this extent, you would type it on the comment section. You will connect yourself and you will say, my background will not determine my blessings. God is blessing my life. My light is shining in the name of Jesus. If you have watched me to this extent, type it on the comment section. Where I'm coming from, my background will not determine my blessings. My light is shining. The spotlight is on me in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As you begin to type it and as you begin to connect yourself and you're believing it is happening for you. The Bible says whatsoever you say on earth is already being established in heaven. Decree a thing and it shall be established. You are saying it right now with every power. You're typing it on the comment section. God is doing it for you because your faith is being built. Whenever you're making up your mind to say, God, I believe in your word against all old. I believe in your word no matter what is going on. I believe in your word no matter what is happening. God will make sure that he responds. Get ready for the spotlight, honey. You're about to be at the top. You're about to be announced. Things are about to change. There is about to be a drastical change, a drastical change in your life. You will look at your life and you will ask questions. All you need to do right now is to believe what God is saying and to get yourself ready. Get yourself, how do you get yourself ready? You're prepared for the miracle. No matter the miracle God gives you, you're telling yourself, I can manage it. You're preparing yourself. Sometimes you pray while waiting on God. Sometimes you're fasting. Sometimes you're studying the word of God. The Bible says thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. That is what happens. Everything changes. As you believe right now, you would type it and say my light is shining. The light is shining. The light is on me. My light is shining. The light is on me. My light is shining. I make a prayer for you in this season where God is blessing you and blessing other people. Let his plans come true for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, if this particular word has been of great blessings to you, I want to beg you in the name of God to pray for me. Please pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord leads you to pray for me. You can pray about anything about my life just as you are being led. Please do me well to pray for me. Thank you so much for praying for me. I'm glad because your prayers are really, really doing good and they are working on me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. My light is shining. I am about to be the talk of the town, the talk of my nation, the talk of my generation. My, I, am, I am getting towards the spotlight. My light is shining. Things are changing in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Now, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. Oh, hallelujah. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. Look at me. I love you so much. I do. I love you. I do. I love you so much. If nobody ever tells you how much they love you, I, Ethel Betagba, I am telling you right now that I love you so much. I love you. And I know that God is about to bless you. I know he's about to uplift you. Get ready for the spotlight. Honey, it's about to shine on here as never before. This is your right timing. This is your season for the blessings. And nobody ain't taking that from you. It is your time. It is your turn. In the mighty name of Jesus, I love you so much. I'll see you all in our next prophetic session. I invite you to join our prayer session. Become our VIP. God bless you. Shalom.